Hi guys and welcome to my channel DIYD365. In this video I'll show you how to send an announcement uh, to a Kaisala group when you receive an email. So there can be multiple scenarios how we want to utilize this uh, template really. So what I'm going to show you is I'm going to publish a blog and I will make an announcement in a Kaisala group of my choice. So before we get into the flows, I'll show you how I have uh, used this particular template in a different way. So this is my blog. I'm subscribed to it. Whenever a new blog is posted, I receive an email and that's in this specific folder. So I created a folder, created a rule. So any, any DIY do365 related email related to a new post I'm getting in here. So I've done that. So it's a prerequisite for you as well. Uh, it's, it's good that if you can do it because you don't want all your inbox emails to be translated as an announcement. So probably do this. Going back to flows, we will look for Kaisala in the space bar and we will see the templates available. So this is the one we need send an announcement on Kaisala when you get an Outlook email. Probably that's what it says. Now the next one, when I click on this, it shows me my connection. So it shows the template as well as all your accounts. They need to be verified with a green tick. So then I'll click on continue. Now here, this is important. This is where I define my folder, which email to translate to an announcement uh, from which folder. So as I said, you would like to create a separate folder with a rule in it. So in my case, I will select DIY D365. So it's under my inbox. So I'll select that and then make sure you enter. Sorry, you enter any here and any here. Now we will not change anything here. This is basically identifying the message. Um, I'm not changing anything here. It's that simple guys. It used to be so difficult to do these kind of automation, but with the help of Power Platform, we are able to achieve so much as non-technicals. So I'm changing nothing, 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 nothing. Only in this part, so this is where what would be visible to the group as an announcement, that's where I'll make certain changes and that's the next tab. So you see I've selected group. So flows is a temp group I created in my Kaisala um, announcement. That's what we want to do. In the message, I'm just showing the subject line because it will contain the new blog's title. So that's that. And then I've provided a URL. Now, when I was entering it, I was worried that this would be visible as text and not a hyperlink, but it seems like it's defaulted as, as soon as you mention HTTP or HTTPS, it will be shown as a hyperlink. Title, it wasn't defaulted to this. I have changed it. It was actually subject ID, but I don't want subject to be repeated. So I've given it my own title. And then I have just said save. So I've saved it and that's all you have to do. I'll repeat it once more. Select the folder of your choice from your Outlook. Importance and has attachment needs to be any or if you want any other different value, you can put in there as well. I have changed nothing at all, but the announcement template. So I've changed it based on my needs and I've hit save. That's all I've done. So before we look at the Kaisala group, I'm supposed to post a blog because it will send me an email notification. So what I'll do, I'll post a test blog and I'll just show it to you. So that's my test and I'll say publish and publish. And once it's done, I'll look here. So this is my dummy group in Kaisala. And it will have the 
message any minute. So here it is, DIY365 posted a new blog. This is the title of my blog. And here I can click and go to the website. See, so that's simple guys. I uh, hope you like this video. Please subscribe to my channel and I'll keep coming to you with this do-it-yourself kind of videos. Thank you so much for your time. Happy CRMing.